Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well today. I want to talk to you about judging a book by its cover. We have to be really careful of that, right? And I'll be honest with you, I'm one of the first people when I see something or I hear something to immediately, oh, that's how that person is. Or I have one interaction with someone. Well, that's how their personality is or that's the type of person. And that can be dangerous, right? Because someone could be having a bad day. Someone could, that could be the style they like. You know, I always laugh with people, and I say this kind of jokingly, but I mean it really serious. Can you imagine if David walked into any church service that we had today dressed, playing the tambourine, worshiping, praising the Lord? I mean, it would be a little odd, right? So what I want to encourage you on, someone might love the Lord just as much as you do. Someone might have a heart and be compassionate for the poor or the hungry or witnessing just as much as you do. Someone might have the same story as you. They might not. But just because they you know, look one way or they dress one way doesn't mean that they necessarily aren't you know, a believer, that they're not a Christian. So you have to be careful by the cover, right, of the book. But what can we look at? Not judge someone, but what can we say, oh, if that, you know, walks like a duck and quacks like a duck and looks like a duck, is it a duck? Most likely. But that's not our place. It's not my place, nor is it your place to judge. But we can look at the fruit of the tree, right? Even Jesus talked about that in Matthew 7. You know, he said, beware of false prophets. Beware of those who come in my name, but who are leading people astray. They're acting like, hey, I want to bring you closer to God. Hey, I want to bring you closer to Jesus. Or I want to tell you all the things you should or shouldn't do that will get you to heaven. You know, We have to be careful of those. So we can look at someone's fruit. We can look at someone's life and say, these are the things they should demonstrate in their lives. They should demonstrate the love of Christ. They should be trying to emulate the life of Christ. They should be trying to draw people closer. They should be practicing forgiveness and humbleness and meekness and compassion. Now, at the same time, you know, Jesus also went into the temple and in controlled anger, if you want to use that word, turned the tables over and drove the money changers out. So just because someone becomes, hey, this is, we got to take a stand for the Lord, you can't automatically say, oh, well, they're not, you know, the fruit's not right because there is a time to stand up and say, this is not right. This is not godly. And you can do that in meekness. Don't confuse meekness with weakness, right? Or don't confuse meekness with anger because you can be meek, you can be strong, but that doesn't mean necessarily mean that you're out of control. So I want to encourage you in your own life, are you producing the type of fruit Are you living the life that Christ would have you to live? Can someone look into your life and see Christ? Or does someone look into your life and see maybe not a true, like, you know, false prophet, but maybe a little bit of that? Maybe, you know, hypocrisy or so much bitterness, you know, that they might be like, I don't know, you know, is that person, I was there for a while. I try to stay out of that position. It's easy to get there. Jonah was there. David was there. I mean, you go through the scriptures and and men and women throughout the history of mankind have been saved, going to heaven, but gotten on the wrong path. So if you're on that wrong path, get back on the right path. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. If you want to learn more about this podcast and about this ministry, check out handlinglife.org.